Hello all, welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session we are going to see COBOL numeric variables, then zero suppression and some of the display formats and default values to the variables. If you look here, I have declared WS A, B, C all with S9 of 5 and C has two decimal places. Then I have got one more variable WS E 9 of 5.99 for the display purposes. Now what I'm doing is I accept WS A and B from the user. Then I'm calculating WS C equal to WS A minus divided B. I'm moving that WS C to WS E and then displaying that. Let us compile this. Now what I'm going to do is check whether there are any issues in that compilation. No errors or warnings. Good. Let us execute. Now I take uh, input A as 34, B as 11. Now it calculates A divided by B is 34 divided by 11, 3.09, but if it is printing 000, 0, 0 B, the beginning. Now that is because WSE is 9 of 5. So it is storing anything in these areas as zeros. Suppose I don't want zeros to be printed. What I can do is instead of 999, I can always say Z, 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 Z. The Z or Z transfer, if there is non zero value as prefix, don't print that zero but just print the last value digit alone. So if there are leading zeros, those leading zeros will be suppressed when you use this. This is mainly for printing purposes. Now let us compile it. Check it. Good, no problems. Let us execute. Now let us give the same thing. 34, 11. Now if you see, previously it used to print 0, 0 as prefix. Now since we have given Z as the prefix, they were not printed. Now it is saying 3.9. But again, let us do one more thing. I will give a negative number. Let us see what happens. Oh, I don't want to compile again. Sorry. Now let us do it. Let us run it again. Now I am giving minus 34 divided by 11. Still it says 3.09. It doesn't print that sign. So the reason is we have given Z but not the sign. But normally we don't use that Z for that uh, with the sign. So instead you use hyphen or minus. Don't give zeros but instead say minus 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 then how many ever digits you want you can do that. Then it will print the sign also if there is a sign. Okay. Now let us see that. Any errors? No problem. Let us execute. Now let us give 34 first and then 11. So now it is positive. It is printing 3.09. Let me execute it once again. This time I will give minus 34 divided by 11. Now it says minus 3.09. So if you give Z as the zero suppressor, it will not print the sign. But if you want the sign also to be there for especially negative numbers, you can use minus or hyphen to do that part. So that is done by the zero suppression characters like this. Now what I have done here if you see in the procedure division before I started using those variables for the very first time I am moving zeros and spaces. Suppose I don't want to move those values initially instead I would like to have those variable values right here what you can do is right here you can say say value zeros okay value zeros this is the default value okay now I can say for this numeric or non-numeric variables we can say value spaces so when you want to when you don't want these additional statements as the very first initializing thing you can still say just value clause in the COBOL program 
This is equal to declaring the variable and then in the procedure division you move zeros to that. But instead, you can straight away give soon after declaration, use the initial values as zeros. So let us compile it. Let us check the errors. No errors. So this is equal to moving zeros inside the procedure division for the very first time. But after operating for some time, if you want to move zeros again, you have to explicitly move zeros. But for the very first time, if you want to start using it, you don't want to declare them in the procedure division as very first statements, then you can use the value zeros right here. So in this session, we have seen the zero suppression using Z and uh, zero suppression with sign uh, with hyphen then we have seen the initialization value for the variables using value class. With that we stop this session here. Thank you.